Hello everyone, in this video I wanted to give you some tips for Fortnite's Ice Storm limited time mode. Based on the reaction I've seen to this mode in my chat, it seems like a lot of people are having difficulty dealing with the zombies in game, and just by playing the game myself, I find a lot of players in game that are just completely lost. So I wanted to explain what I do in this mode to you guys to help you guys hopefully get more wins and get more kills in the Ice Storm limited time mode. But the first big thing to deal with in this mode is the zombies. Very similar to those zombies from Fort Nightmares, you can mostly just ignore them and walk away from them. If you sprint or just walk away, they'll just stop following you eventually. And it's it's much easier than killing them. I actually win a lot of my games without really killing any zombies unless you get like cornered from them in the late game, which can definitely happen. But in addition to ignoring the zombies, which is the main thing I want to tell you about the zombies is just to ignore them. They can actually help lead you to opponents, especially in the late game. The late game circles are very small. And I've had a lot of instances where I don't know exactly where somebody is, but I see zombies running and then you can follow their path and find the person they're running after. Even in the mid game, if you see zombies running and they aren't running at you, they're running at somebody else. Otherwise, they just stay stationary. If they're not currently aggroed onto someone, they stay still. So if you see zombies running around, especially in the late game, you should be able to easily find an opponent and catch them off guard, get initial shots in them, and you should be able to win that fight. The zombies can give you loot or shield if you are desperate, but I, I tend to not do this. I would really only try to farm up the zombies if you have a suppressed weapon, and we'll get to that later on. But if you're farming up zombies, you leave yourself very vulnerable to other people shooting you. And then also with the fog, it can be difficult to see the people around you. So I would just, in general, try not to farm up the zombies. You can also hear people shooting the zombies and then go and kill them while they're fighting the zombies and often catch somebody off guard. So... Pay attention to who the zombies are chasing and if you hear somebody fighting the zombies you'll usually be able to find somebody that's just completely off guard who's desperate of loot and shield and then you'll be able to easily kill that opponent and go on get an extra kill get their loot get their mats that's another thing i wanted to tell you is get mats early getting mats in the early game is very effective because in the mid to late game you might not be able to get as much material as you typically could because the zombies are messing around and like making it to where it's not as easy to farm up so i try to get a little bit more mats in the early game than i would otherwise during this event the next thing I wanted to talk to you all about was the fog. The fog comes and goes, and it can be pretty overwhelming at times, and you're not really going to be able to see for like long distance. I think snipers really help with this, and suppressed weapons are also very effective because of the fog. If you see an opponent in the fog who doesn't know where you are, this can be an ideal time to engage on them because they'll have a tough time seeing you. And if you have a suppressed weapon or a sniper, you can do a lot of damage in like a quick time with the sniper or shoot at them with a suppressed weapon and it's going to be hard for them to find you because they can't really hear you and they can't really see you because of the fog. Also, other players are going to have a tough time third partying your fight if you're using a suppressed weapon and the fog is up, making it very difficult for people to see you from range. So I've definitely been taking advantage of the suppressed scar more than I usually do. I usually take the heavy or the normal scar over this weapon. But in the Ice Storm event, I've been taking the Suppressed Scar over the AK, or the Heavy. I still do like the Normal Scar the most, and I'll definitely take that for late game. But running around in the mid game, the Suppressed Scar can get you out of a lot of tough situations. It also makes it easier to deal with the zombies if you do have to kill some of them. And then catching somebody off guard with a snipe in the fog is also really good. And you can kind of play more like stationary with the sniper than you could otherwise. Because of the fog, makes it to where you aren't seen from as long of range. So those are the two biggest tips I have for the fog is to use suppressed weapons and to use snipers and to try to make plays when the fog is up if you try to rush somebody when the fog is down it's going to be easier for them to stop you but when the fog is up you can get away with a lot more especially in the mid to late game because people aren't going to be able to just laser you from a distance if the fog is up unless they already know where you are so essentially those are my biggest tips for this mode and that's just to mostly ignore part of it ignore the zombies don't mess with them at all just play how you normally would just run away from them don't bother fighting them because when you fight them you make yourself a really easy target i would really only focus on killing zombies if you're really desperate for shield or loot or if you have a suppressed weapon or the crossbow because both of them can kill zombies pretty quickly and quietly even then you are an, e an easy target for somebody who comes up on you and because of the fog you won't be able to see around you as much so that's why i just try to completely avoid the zombies and only use them to get me the information of where players are if i see zombies running that's going to be it for this video. I'm going to let the gameplay play out. I hope you guys found it useful in some way. If you did, a like rating is always appreciated. And if you would like to see more, subscribe. I do live stream Fortnite Battle Royale every single day. So if you want me to explain more of this or you have any additional questions, come to the stream. I'm most likely live as this video goes up. And I can do my best to answer them for you. Thanks for watching.